Hey everybody, Christopher Mink for EverythingiCafe.com and today we're just going to give you a tour of the notification center in iOS 5 and just some basic tips and tricks on how to utilize it. So first thing we'll do is we'll slide down and this reveals the notification center. Now as you see here, I've got mail, I've got weather, I've got a stock widget. Now if you slide to the left on the weather widget, you'll either get the current weather or that's usually the default. Um, but if you slide again, you'll get the seven day forecast, which is pretty handy. Now, if you tap on that widget, it'll bring up the weather app. So this is good if you have like, you know, say a, a different, uh, you know, city that you want to check out. Slide back down and we're back here in the notification center. Now, if you like me, you know, Stocks probably aren't that important to you, so uh, they're turned on by default, but that's easy enough. We can get rid of those. Uh, we're going to head over to Settings, and then Notifications, and this is where we manage all of the notifications. And as you see here, there are quite a few apps that will utilize the Notification Center. So we'll just click on Stock Widget, and you just toggle this on and off. So we're going to toggle it off in this case, because... Uh, we don't want any part of uh, of the stock widget um, showing up in notifications because they can. The problem is, as you can see here, the things will get clogged up pretty pretty quickly. So I'm going to turn off uh, kayak because I don't really use that. Um, but I want to show you here the different types of alerts um, that will pop up now. As you see here, this is the classic alert which is going to pop up in the middle of the screen. Um, that's pretty standard old iOS also shows up in, in the new iOS and if you slide that you can actually enter right into the app so that's pretty handy straight from the lock screen. Banners will appear at the top very very briefly and then they disappear so those are also useful and then none. Now if you choose none it doesn't mean that notifications aren't going to still occur it means they're going to happen but they'll still populate in the notification center so it really depends on the specific app like for phone you're probably going to want alerts to happen because you don't want to miss a phone call but some of these other ones you're going to want to kind of make a change and not necessarily have you know like for instance I don't need notifications from from kayak so you can always turn things on and off if uh, it starts to start trading. Now you can sort these manually by selecting the edit button and then pressing down on those little dashes and then reordering things. So for instance here, say I want messages, reminders, and then phone. You can't see it here because I don't have any notifications, but should there be notifications, they wouldn't be based on time, they would be based on the order. Um, my preference personally is actually time, um, but that's up to you. It's, uh, you know, whatever you feel is best the best use of your time when you're in notification center. Um, now to clear out notifications, just press on this little X here and press on clear. It can be a little bit tricky as you can see here in the demo, but uh, we'll just slide out of that. And if we want to just show you how we turn off, um, we'll go back to notifications and we're going to turn off the weather widget. Toggle that off. And as you can see here, that's how we clear out notifications. So notifi notifications can get unruly within the notification center if you don't properly manage it. So hope this has been helpful. Thanks for joining us.